When we look up at the night sky, we see thousands of stars shining brightly. In fact, there are billions upon billions of stars stretching across the universe. But it wasn't always this way. Once there was a time when there were no stars. There was nothing to light up the sky. This time of darkness was just after the Big Bang, 14 billion years ago. The entire universe started off as a hot fireball and it cooled down and after about half a million years our universe entered a literal dark age. The universe then stayed dark until the first stars formed and lit it up again. Lost inside this cosmic dark age is one of the great mysteries of science. The very first stars the creators of everything. Stars are the factories of the universe. Inside their burning cores, all the elements that make up everything we see and touch today are created. But without those very first stars to begin this process of creation, there would be no galaxies, no Earth, no us. The great puzzle at the heart of this creation story is, if the stars create everything, then how were the very first stars themselves created all those billions of years ago? It is a mystery that has baffled scientists for generations. A very difficult question is trying to work out how those, those early stars formed. It's a very difficult theoretical question because we don't have observations to guide us. There are no observations because there is not enough light to see back into the cosmic dark age when it all began. And light is what astronomers need to see back in time. Sunlight takes eight minutes to travel to Earth. When we look up at the sun, we see it as it was eight minutes ago. And when we see the light from other stars from further away, we are in fact seeing further and further back in time. So, when we look at a star from the other side of our galaxy, a hundred thousand light years away, we're really seeing it as it was when the light left it a hundred thousand years ago. As we look out across the universe at the most distant objects that we can see, we're actually going backwards in time, looking backwards in time, billions of years. But no matter how hard we look, no one has been able to see back to the cosmic dark age. Until now. Something has been discovered that may light up the darkness of the early universe and solve the mystery of how the very first stars were made. Something that sends science on a quest that would span the entire universe. Who would have thought that this journey would take us to the edges of the universe, the biggest explosions in nature, black hole birth, star death, just the most exotic phenomena that I've ever seen and I've been studying explosions all my life. The journey began over half a century ago with a bizarre chain of events at the height of the Cold War. Attention all bases, attention all bases. This is Iron Hand, this is Iron Hand. This is a shock alert. I repeat, this is a shock alert. It was the 1950s and the world was gripped by fear. The Americans were convinced the Russians were trying to develop nuclear weapons behind their back. And because they thought the communists so devious, they decided that the most likely testing site for these new weapons was not in the oceans, 
not in the deserts. In fact, not even on Earth itself. The Americans believed the Soviets were testing nuclear bombs on the dark side of the moon. I mean, come on, give me a break type of thing nowadays, the ridiculousness of it. The, the, but the Soviets would buy into the same paranoia because their paranoia was, you know, might say more deeply inbred. Sterling Colgate was an expert in nuclear bomb testing. He was put in charge of designing a series of satellites sensitive enough to pick up even the faintest trace of a nuclear explosion from as far away as the moon. So the satellites were made to detect nuclear violators, cheaters, which meant they had to be a great deal more sensitive than any sensible bomb physicist would have ever said they needed to be. Colgate's satellite was designed to pick up the one telltale sign of a nuclear explosion that not even the Russians could hide. Gamma rays, the deadliest form of energy in the universe. Colgate satellite was launched amidst great secrecy. But what it would discover would turn out to be far more deadly than a Russian nuclear bomb. On the 2nd of July, 1967, it seemed their worst nightmare had come true. Colgate satellite picked up a huge burst of gamma rays. A nuclear bomb signal that you'd expect to see from a test in space of a nuclear weapon would be first a pulse, smaller pulse, and then followed by some time a much bigger pulse. And these two pulses are the primary and the secondary. But the telltale signal was not from any nuclear bomb. It was from something far, far bigger. Something of incomprehensible size. I was blown away. Totally, completely blown away. My, my God, what the hell are they seeing out there? And the signals just kept on coming. Something out there was causing huge explosions blasting out deadly gamma rays. No one really knew quite what to make of it and there were there were preposterous ideas bandied around for a while that even these were interstellar Star Wars going on and we were seeing the the phaser blasts that missed their target or that comets were annihilating with anti-comets or little black holes were evaporating uh, people didn't quite know what to make of it. The journey that would one day lead science back into the cosmic dark age had begun.